Oh, 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 he's gonna get in the tree. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Let's go outside together on one of the most beautiful days of the year. During this Corona quarantine time, I'm with a trusted friend, manager Matt. Quar he is uh, Corona free, except for the beer in his hand. We're gonna have a little fun today. We're at a lake that I haven't been to in probably six or seven years. We're gonna try to do some sight fishing. We just caught crappie on beds in one of our latest videos, and now we're looking for some largemouth on a clear lake. I think main lake nipples. Now, <laughs> no, that sounds a little funny, but March deep creeks for spawners. April, as we get farther along into the spawn and even May, main lake little pockets like we have right here. Very short, only, you know, just, you could only fish like one boat in here, but a lot of times those big bass spawn close to deep water and the whole lake is warmed up. 66 degrees right now, there should be some big ones coming in here. So full moon, let's see if Big Sally is locked on today or maybe cruising thinking about it. First customer identified. Moved pretty far south, but I think this is probably gonna be what we're gonna have to do. Just find like one or two fish in each little nipple pocket. Anytime you're ready to catch that fish, Matt, we're all waiting. Come, come on, man. He's so primed. He's just, he's just chilling on the rock. He is primed and ready. What if it's a four pound smallmouth? You ever think about that? I think so, huh? If it's a four pound smallmouth, he would have, he would have, thr he would have ran out of the bed. <laughs> Might have to sit a jig on it. Send out the little juicy. That's a good cast. That should be it. Just boom, stop, inhale. What do you, you, you take a throw at it. You want me to take a throw at it? Yeah. All right. Okay, might I suggest a little juicy with a crack and crowd junior on there. A little something more aggressive. And uh, I'm just gonna throw there on the outside. See what this fish does. I didn't quite hit the, the full target zone, just on the cusp. We're doing a circle though. We're circling. You know, give it a little hyper dangle. And then I like to I like to exit the scene just real quick. So it's like, what? Where'd it go? What's happening? And throw pass, come in, turned left, light shake, still looking left. You think you saw two fish on oh there he comes. There he comes. I thought, but I think there's only one. I think there's two. You think there's two? Yeah, I think there's two. Got one of them. That might be the male. Oh yeah, baby. Good fish. There we go. Oh, we got a runner. Oh, baby. Maybe this was the bigger fish. Ooh. Right in the schnoz. That's a good fish. That is a good fish. This is bigger than I thought it was. Really nice fish. Look at him trying to shake that jig out. You ain't getting that little juicy out. That's a very aggressive hit. Ah, yeah, baby. Look at that chunk ball. Holy cow. That's awesome. First fish of the day, and it's a butter bean. We'll take it. So, tried with the weightless bait. Just threw the lunker log in there, twitched it around, was looking but not aggressive enough to strike it. So a little juicy with a little craw on it and uh, that fish just hosed it. Let's, let's do an egg check. That's gotta be the female. She's just plopped, ready to go. Beautiful fish, let's give it a sniff -a Love you, Oklahoma. Got some beautiful fish up here. Okay, we're gonna return the beauty to the depths so we can uh, go make some good Oklahoma nuggets. See ya. Y'all, we found her. We've got ourselves a, a certified Ocho is what I'm saying. You think so? I think she's eight pounds. There's another male here. A little skittish though. Going back to the old Lake Fork times here. And there's a male bass too that's starting to come into the picture. This is the day where they're spawning. They're locking on. She's locked on, but she ain't eating. 
I've seen her chase shad and bluegill away. So I'm gonna try a little swim bait or so and we'll just mess around and see if we can get this fish to bite, but it is big. What are you feeling? Are you well, feeling them? I got there's a reflection off the water that I'm trying to. <laughs> but she's chasing off these little things. So what do you think? Do you think if I threw on a jerk bait? Look at her. Look at her coming in at it. Look at her. Getting pissed. Oh okay. See her whip on it? Yep. Today's the day they lock on and don't eat. Hate to say it, y'all, but we had to punt on that fish. Wind started kicking up in this pocket. It became very difficult to see the fish. That was just a sneaky one. I would say not ready. Look at this hat flop. We might come back. Uh, we've named this one Carol, Carol Baskins. Oh my gosh, look at this tree. It's full of crappie. Wow. <laughs> see, this is what I have a hard time with when I get out to the lake in the spring. Is everything. Everything is out. We're gonna stay focused on bass today. So we'll leave old Carol here, and then uh, we're gonna try to find a calmer area. Oh, got it. There you go. Yeah, crappie time. I might have to stop bass fishing then. You're like me. I like them both. I think there's the world's biggest tournament out here today. Watch out for the snakes! We took a big hard punt on fourth down out there at this lake. We just happened to be about 20 minutes from uh, from my buddy's place that's got one of the, the best bass lakes I've ever been to. He called and said the bass, it's the best he's ever seen. So ever since we first came out here, I always thought, oh my, this place would be amazing in the spring and we're here. And the water is gin clear and there's no boats. The problem we ran into with all those little pockets at the other place, they were loaded with boats. Did you just have one while I was idling? Yeah. Okay, there, there's no use in even motoring around. We're just gonna shut it down and start catching them, y'all. This is the easy way out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We went to the Publix. We caught a nice four or five pounder on a bed and then we got overtaken by the boat traffic. Everyone, and I like this, this is great. This is probably the biggest boost I've ever seen in the fishing industry. People, now that this coronavirus is going on, they're not at work, they go fishing. A lot of grass. I found a spawning pocket over here. I think so. I want to get up on that top water bite this evening. Really give them. they're going to be all over that frog tonight. Ah, uh, some sort of top water, yeah. See you. Oh! First fish on the swim bed and it turned out to be a dog. Oh, he hit it pretty hard though. He wanted it. He wanted it. Hey, there we go. I'm on the board. How's it feel? Feels good. God, they smell sweet around this grass. You can smell it from here. It's just a different thing. Oh, the old grass. The grass bass is a special kind of smith, snippy. All right, we got a little pond dam right here, lily pads, deep water. Oh, come on oh, and clap a, on it. That's a big one. Oh, oh no. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, no. But man, I have not fished this bait hardly at all, so I want to get some confidence in it. This is the way to do it right here. Little, uh, little buka. Little buka swimmer. It'd be throwing it fun to throw like a buzz toad around here. In the shallows. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's out. Oh, don't worry, another one. Oh, three of them. <laughs> Four of them. They're both trying to get it. Let me get another one on, on the other hook. <laughs> that was absurd. Oh, there was three fish. Oh gosh, I just lost. Oh, there's oh, another, another one, Chase. One. Oh my oh, gosh. My. When they said it was on, they were not lying. <laughs> just need that big one. Oh, ate it at the surface. <laughs> Man, sometimes I just yell with excitement on strikes like that, getting all sorts of confidence in this little little buka shad. There's uh, so many bluegill in here. 
the main forage, so. I think it's the perfect bait for a big end. This place is it's magical, it's phenomenal. It's Disneyland for bass fishing. I'm feeling the vibes that I need to tie on a frog. So I'm gonna put on a filthy frog. We've got a popping version that we're working on and I've got a model tied on here that I'm gonna be working on today, working with. This little black frog, it's got a popping lip on it. And what we're seeing is there's actually a lot of fish that are back here in this brush and it's very hard to get things through there. You know, it's basically like a flipping frogging situation. Everything that you dream about when you think about bass fishing. Yes, indeed, folks. I think this is gonna turn into a frog fishing video. I'm gonna get cracked on this thing. I'm just wondering uh, what kind of retrieve they're gonna go for here today. Oh, dude, I already hear a frog. We're not even, it's 544, we're not even, just imagine here in about two hours what's gonna happen. Oh, God! First frog bite of the year and I actually hooked him. Yes! Shoo! You got kind of big one? That was cool. Yep. Oh, broke you off. That sucks. That was a decent one there. Oh, that one is. That's a good one. Oh, baby. Yes, sir. Woo, frogfish coming in hot. Absolutely gone. Oh, it is gone. And it's only five. We haven't reached the, the apex. Filthy. That thing is gonzo. There we go. Nice fish. There we go. <sighs> Filthy pop, doing good. Dude, look at that one in there. Just right in there. What if I flip this sucker in here and he just eats it in the brush? Oh my gosh, wow. That sound needs to be replayed. <laughs> Did that not scare you? I, I it mean, scared me. It under, like, it's so close too. That's not a big one, but God, a frog bite. Y'all just gotta go ahead and smash that like button for that. Jeez. This is the way to go. This is the maximum fun right here. Yeah, my line is on top of one's bed. It's disturbing it. So when I get this frog over the top, he's gonna eat it. Oh my God. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna wrench you out of that, baby. Get up in here, baby. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Hold my shot. <laughs> Ch -ch Boom. Frogging in the pads in April. Woof. Sign me up. You, you talked me into it. <laughs> Black frog on a hot afternoon, hottest day of the year so far. Come and get you some. I didn't even hear it. That was a silent one. Oh, yeah. Oh, golly, come off. That was a good one. Ah, jeez. You just can't give up on them. Oh, man, that was a rib crusher. Jeez. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they are in there. <laughs> Showing up to play at the playground. Where the big bass roaming up in the grasses. Yeah, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say we made the correct move here today. Oh yeah. Sucked it under. That might be a good one. No, oh, okay. Oh my gosh, look at all these fry. Look at all the fry. Oh my gosh. Millions. Okay, we're gonna show you guys these fry.
anytime you'll see fry like that I'll try to explain what they look like in my last video but now that y'all know that is usually when top water becomes pretty good if you start seeing fry go ahead and just break out your poppers get your frogs out get your buzz baits basically Hide your kids, hide your wife. The bass are coming to get you on top. Oh, another boil right here. Oh, 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 he had it. There's three of them right here, Matt. There's like a neighborhood of them. There's a zip code. It's called uh, Bass. Oh, he's coming. He's waking over towards it, dude. Oh, oh gosh. Biggin'. There we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, dude. Oh, he's coming. He's waking over towards it, dude. God. Holy moly. God. Absolutely crushed it. Don't come off. Come here, biggin. I mean, came from the woods and grabbed it. Oh. There you go. Hey. What a bite. <laughs> Woo! Frog City! <laughs> Sorry, I had to let that out. I feel like I can start throwing something else now. What? Right at the pro. Oh! 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 oh my gosh! Something else? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. When Megatron smashes you like that. Oh, and he oh, made it no. again! No way! <laughs> no way! Oh my gosh! Holy cow! God, he wanted it. He wanted that it. That was the way. best thing ever. That's a good fish. It is a good fish. Oh my. Look at that one. That's the biggest one of the day, I think. That's all sorts of bonus points. Jeez. Slobber knocks it. Throw back in there. Hits it just as hard and says, come get you some. Folks at home, that is why you throw a frog. It's, it's for those moments. He was right by the boat, too. He, he could hear the decibels off that slurp. Oh, gosh. Out there. Did you see that? Right out there. Hey, watch this. This is going to be one of those. Long bomb, big pops. Oh, oh. Get out of there. Oh, big one. Oh, he's like, oh, he's going to get in the tree. Oh, look at him. Uh, this is a good one. This is the biggest one of the day. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm taking it. I have no choice. Ah! Come here! Oh I'm tearing the tree down! Oh I'm lumberjacking him! Come here! <laughs> Get on this deck! Oh my gosh! Look at that! <laughs> Come here, let me hug you! Come here, let me hug you! Woo! I knew it! I knew it was gonna happen! You called it! Ooh. Biggest one of the day! Oh, we're getting in the fibers. Oh, it's gone. Fishing freaks. This day has turned into something very special. I didn't think we were going to be frogging when I started the day, but we are. And that is a juicy one there. Really nice fish, you know. We got to give it a sniff. Get a little light, light on there. Okay, we'll let it go. Thank you for the great fight. Sorry about the trees. Beautiful. How would you rate the turn of events today? We made the right call around three o'clock this afternoon. We did. I think Jesus has come back. <laughs>
Oh, are we, have we died from Corona? Are we in heaven? So good. You look so beautiful in this light. Fishing freaks, I think we're gonna end it here. Sun is going down. Uh, we are physically tired. My wrists and my ribs, I haven't been this physically exhausted from bass fishing since probably like years ago in Mexico. I would say that is a good thing. So we're gonna take it in y'all. You better smash the like button for outdoor greatness and for just good old fashioned frog fishing. My thumbs torn up, it looks fantastic. If y'all don't have some frog gear, you better go ahead and get you some because the season is coming soon. We got a little early taste today. It was very lucky. But get you a heavy power rod, fast action, something you're comfortable with. I was using a 7.3 today. As fast a reel as you can get away with and use 50 or 60 pound, 65 pound braid. Go ahead and get you some Gookin Squad uh, 8 strand. I'll just leave links down below for all the frog fishing gear, guys. I love you. Thank, thanks for being here on this very special evening episode of Blow Up Ness, and I'll see you very soon. God bless you.